Hi, my name is Jason and I'm an artist and I've been asked to help you guys make a, I guess, mask or helmet that's based on the lesson you just had. So I believe you guys would have learnt about the blue banded bee. Um, we're going to try and make um, the mask or the helmet based on the blue banded bee with most of the things that we would have at home. Um, hopefully you guys have a lot of these things at home, but I've made it so that if you don't have the things, you can still make this project without every single material that uh, I've listed. So hopefully you guys had a fun time with this uh, lesson with the Blue Banded Bee. Um, I think, yeah, let's get right to it. Um, you're going to see my face right now, but then I'm going to stand up properly and then mostly you're just going to see my hands. The most important part, you know, the, the making, um, what exactly is happening with what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to run you guys through some of the materials that you can have um, and some materials that you might find at home and what you can substitute that for. And then we're, I think we're just going to get right to it. So we have... Um, some things that will make your life a lot easier or some uh, things that are quite necessary to um, what we're going to be making. So you need a hat with a brim. Um, it doesn't have to be a hat that you want to chuck away. I'm going to show you some ways to use a hat in a way that you can use it again if you want or some ways that um, you can use a hat so that um, it becomes a permanent mask or helmet. Um, a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, there's a way around this and I'll show you later. We definitely would need some sort of um, cardboard box, like a tissue box is really helpful. Again, if you don't have a spare one handy, that's okay. A lot of these things, I know you guys probably all recycle really well, so um, you might not have them handy right now or you, you might might not be used up all with your tissues. Um, an egg carton, some sort of plastic. You can see a lot of these things I'm using. Um, they're all things you'd find around your home. Um, got this wheat bix sort of um, wrapper that's from the inside of a wheat bix box, so you can use a wheat bix box as well. If you have some stiffer plastic, like this um, paper holder um, sleeve, um, we could use that as well. Some sort of brown paper bag. So um, this softer paper bag is better, but we can use this harder paper bag as well. Any sort of extra bits of cardboard. I think I've got a toilet roll in here somewhere. Um, some shiny, shiny stuff. So often you can find this, if you don't have anything shiny, you can use aluminium foil. But we're going to try and recycle as much of, you know, things around our house as possible. So the inside of chip packets, I've got this, these lovely Japanese chips that um, I like to eat. But any chip packet will have a shiny interior. So make sure you wash all these things out that you're using as well. Some of the craft things we'll be using... Um, definitely we need some tape, some, oops, probably can't see that, some tape, some staplers, um, textures, blue, because of, we're making the blue band of B, scissors, um, some things that will make your life easier will be some extra strong tape. Um, I've got some duct tape here or masking tape and a hot glue gun. I know a lot of you won't have a hot glue gun at home. Um, if you have a sewing kit, that's also really helpful. Uh, again, uh, I'm not I'm not sure if you guys will want to you know permanently have this helmet on the hat or not. So some of these processes, some of the things we're going to be doing. Um, will make mean you can't wear the hat as a hat, but you can wear it as a bee mask um, forever now. So 
let's get right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this box inside out. So that's very simple. This is where my face sort of disappears. So we just take the box apart at the seams. Very simple. And there should be a seam here as well. So we're going to do that. to do is just tape it back up so it's inside out now. So I'm going to use this tape so you can just use this tape if you want. to tape up this end because we're going to make some cuts on this end. So we're going to cut from here down there and from here down there. I'll just do a quick cut so it's sometimes helpful just to cut off these two ends. So you see we've left these flaps on these ends, but we've cut those two ends. And then, making it a bit hard for you guys to see there. So, I'm going to do a sort of round shape there. And then cut it down there. i do that to all four sides. So. We're going to make a shape that looks like that on both sides. And on this side, it's helpful to not cut through that thing. So cut around there, that opening there. So we've got this spiky shape you can see it so what we're going to do is close this bit up like that make it nice and round and then we're going to leave a tiny bit of a gap there so we can bend that down so what we're going to do again is tape that up I'm using this black tape. If you want to make it look a little bit better, I, re I reckon using this clear tape, or if you have any blue tape, obviously that'd be a lot better. So why we've left those tucked in is we just want to tuck this one in here, put a little bit more tape there. And we're going to leave this end out, just for now, okay? So, we have our hat here. So, this is going to be... I believe you guys learnt about the body of a bee, so... The plate is going to be the head. And then we have the thorax, where the legs and the wings are, and then the abdomen here, okay? So we're going to try and attach these two together right now. So... Oh. Just grab 
going to cut two little holes in the hat so that we can still use them. So this is the part where I was talking about if you want to keep your hat then um, you can do two little cuts here. If you don't need to keep your hat in particular what you can do is sew this together like that or you could just simply use the hot glue gun to glue this part to this part. So I've made a little way where we can put a bit of string through here where it means the back of the bee can move around like a like a normal bee would. Put a bit of string through. So I've done the same to both sides, so there's a little hole through both those. Just forgotten one extra thing. Bit of string so if you can have a little length of string like this it'd be very helpful to have right now and then what we're going to do is put a little hole here and a little hole here okay we'll do this with our scissors just be careful don't don't poke yourself while you're doing all this Just a little hole for us to put our string through. Now remember I said if you don't have a tissue box handy, you could sort of make this out of a few bits of cardboard. So I've got some extra cardboard here, like a cereal box or a wheat fix box. I've already used my week's fix box for another other thing. So. There we go. So we've run the string through those two holes. And then like that, we're gonna tie the strings into the holes over there. String through. So the first one we can sort of just tie a knot. Again, if you have a hot glue gun, it's much easier just to sort of glue the box to the to the hat. But so once that's tied nice and tight on the inside of the cap. And we have the hat placed firmly on the box like that. Pull that nice and tight. Come up around here. And then tie the other knot here nice and tight. Probably have a little bit of extra string. So I've just done a little triple knot 
on each of those and do whatever knot you feel like doing. There we go. So the next thing we're going to attach is the head of the bee. So we're going to attach it like that. If you don't have a paper plate, maybe you have a plastic plate handy. We're trying to not use so much plastic to show you a way to make that sort of paper plate that you might need to make. Just cut a hole in this paper bag like that. It's not a very accurate hole, but I'll fix it up right now. If you don't have a paper plate, you can just make some slits here. See what I'm doing. Bending them, overlapping them, and I'm just putting a staple on it. There we go, it's not completely round, but we can mold it. And when you guys are doing it, I'm sure you'll be doing it much more accurately. So you can use a, a bowl to trace out your circle before doing this. It's a sort of like a circle there. Anyway, if you do have a paper plate, you can use this. And what we're going to do is staple the plate into the front of the hat. I'll just do this. Staples there, so it's on the front of the hat. There we go. Now, with a lot of my art making, I actually prefer, actually prefer when a lot of what I do isn't hidden, so that you can, I, I wouldn't have actually flipped the tissue box around, and I wouldn't have covered this hat, which we'll be doing in a second, or I wouldn't have covered this front bit with the brown paper, which is more the colour of the bee. But uh, I want to leave that up to you for what you guys want to do, because if we do um, flip this and we do cover this, then it gives us an opportunity to sort of decorate it how we want as well. So if you have any other coloured textures or paints you want to use, or maybe some glitter glue, or some cellophane, feel free to add add this to your mask. Um, I, I think it's important that we, you know, have some resemblance to what we just learned about the blue band B, but also we're doing a creative artistic project. So if you wanted to make the blue banded B have some red or yellow, I, I think that's fine. Or 
you know, some green or some sparkly colors, that's fine as well. So the next thing we're going to do is get some of this brown paper bag. So right now we do have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So you might notice um, from what you learned today that bees often look like they're quite furry. They've got these bristles on them. So, so a brown paper bag would sort of resemble that texture if that's what you want to do. So I'm going to cover the bee in this. Cover it however you want. I'm gonna this so I'm gonna tuck it tuck it in there in there and then again the stapler okay. this side as well. Find the soft sort of paper bag is a lot easier than using these hard paper bags. There we go. Got like the body of the bee. Now, if you wanted to to look much more consistent in color, like a real bee, you might be able to cover this paper plate up with this, um, this sort of um, paper bag plate that we made earlier. All we did have to do, because we've already had the structure of the plate, is to cover it and then staple it. But I, I'm going to leave it. I kind of like that. It's a bit of a different colour from the, the, the thorax here. We can sort of neat it out a bit, smooth it out a bit, smooth out the creases, but we can also do that after. If we need to. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good so far, doesn't it? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this egg carton to make some legs. I like the egg carton because it's got that texture that. Um, bees have, you know, that sort of furry texture that we talked about, the bristles that they have on them. Um, if you don't, again, if you don't have um, an egg carton handy, um, just you can use some cardboard. This is two bits of the cardboard that we took off the tissue box. You could just staple those together and that would make a leg. But if you do have this handy, I, I find this is, this looks a lot better. So first thing we do is we'll just cut through there. We're going to cut off this bit as well. And then we're going to divide these into four. So we're going to have one, two, three, that's one leg, that's two legs, that's three legs, that's four legs. A bee has six legs, so they have their fore legs, their middle legs, and their hind legs. We're going to make the, the front legs, the fore legs, out of something different. So these are just the middle legs and the hind legs. Getting a bit messy here. So these are legs. We can take off these pointy bits if we need to. And you can do this with your, as you can see, you can do this with your hands if you want to make it a bit neater. And I feel like when you tear a bit with your hands, it actually makes it kind of furry, you know, much like a bee's leg. 
So we've got we've got one of our legs here. So we just need a few more. Make sure you guys be careful when you're doing this stuff. Don't cut towards your fingers. There we go. Again, we're gonna use a stapler. So we're gonna attach some legs here, here, and here. Or well, actually, with these ones, we're gonna only attach them in the middle and the back for now. Okay. This is where these little bits at the end, if you don't have enough to attach it, you can just break a bit off carefully and then you've got that bit to attach it. Okay. And then what we can do is, oh, just let me touch that a little bit better. why I've put this um, paper down first is this is a little thicker so you know our staplers might not be able to get through but they can get through the paper and the carton rather than the carton and the hat and the paper these extra bits here so, so it's, this could be the, the front leg or the foreleg as it's known okay. oh. yeah, I think this will look better if I attach that to that making the wings so it's up to you what you think is going to look better you can use a sleeve or if you just have some plastic handy you can use some plastic I think I'm going to use the plastic today so wings have two wings they have their four wings and their hind wings so I'm just going to cut out a shape and I'll just cut it out and then I'll show you You can be a bit rough with this if you want, or a bit accurate. Cut these out and then I'll show you guys what the shape of is like. So I've cut out two shapes that look like that. And I, I'm pretty happy that I've used Wheat Bix um, um, the inside wrappers because they're also blue, like a blue banded bead, I guess. So I'm gonna this to the side here again this is why we've used the the paper here so it should be a little bit there 
So how you place it as well, make sure you, before you staple it, you're placing that so that the, the, there's the forewing at the front and then the hind wing at the back. Also, for everyone looking at, watching at home, <laughs> I'm just doing this one side so that you don't have to watch me do it on the other side as well. So, for the face, this is why we have the chip wrapper ready. So we're going to open up this chip wrapper. See how it's nice and shiny, and we're going to make some B eyes. B eyes are pretty round, but again, I don't want to stop you guys from imagining what a B eye would look like. A B eye shape is roughly like that. Um, it's not exactly like that, it's a bit more round, but I, I kind of like the shape, so I'm going to stick with this. So, again, we're going to Everything's using the stapler today. Make sure you wash these wrappers out because they have a bit of a chip smell to them as well. Unless you like that, of course. And then we've got lots of cardboard left to make an antenna like that so how we can make the antennas stick up you can just bend them like that and then they'll stick up once we, we staple them down again where these little bits help. That's how we're sort of recycling everything. These can be the mandibles or the hang. Okay. Let's see, how do I want them? I think I want them like that. And then let's not forget the stinger. So you can choose how big or small you want the stinger. What we can do is we can use one of the egg carton sort of mandible bits. But I'm just going to show you if you don't want to use that or you want to use a bit of a chip packet to make it shiny. We'll just twist this into a little cone shape. So that it's bigger on that end, smaller on that end. And when you guys do this, you'll take a lot more time and be a lot more neat with this. And then we're gonna bend the, the, the thicker end out like that. So that it looks like a stinger with that end bent, bent out. And we're going to do this. it to the end there okay oh, I'm gonna get some blue paint or texture I'm gonna maybe stick with the end yeah there's all the legs and everything I'm gonna color some of these bands in see this is why if we had blue tape or clear tape it'd look a little more realistic don't you think and again I think you guys at home are going to be doing this much more much more neater than I am
There we have it. It's the the banded blue banded B helmet. So I'm gonna just take it for a test drive. You obviously have some more. Have your the rest of your legs on this side as well, and it'll be much more decorated with different paints and colours than than my one, I'm sure. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys. So we've got this. If you move your head up and down, it's going to float up and down. The legs and then this thing at the back. Have a good Easter, guys.